So welcome to this Vanners collaboration. Uh, as the title suggests, we're looking at the top five failures in people's motorhome or caravan life. And if you click on the link at the end of this video, you'll see everyone else's failure. So what's number five then, Jenny? Oh, well, it's the Sergeant Power Supply, isn't it? Um, which we had a problem with when we were at Fort William, one of our early tours. Just saw it's burning. McDonald's are burning the burgers or something. Lost our reversing camera. Yeah. Both of them have packed up. And um, so it wasn't just that, though, was it? No, the, the fridge had stopped working as well uh, on 12 volts. Uh, I think the real problem started when we tried to book it in for the a repair. Yeah, well, also the fact that we were using a lot of gas because um, it switched, it couldn't go to 12 volts, so it switched to gas as we were going along. Yeah, and yeah. I think we drove the whole way around Europe. We're oh, having to use gas for the fridge. Instead of 12 yeah, volts, yeah. yeah, which you probably shouldn't be doing anyway. Yeah, um, but so the real problem did start in trying to get it fixed. I kept ringing them. We were at Culloden, I think, uh, yeah, and we were, I, yeah. I was ringing them and trying to get someone to uh, book an appointment so I could get it fixed. And every time I rang, and I must have rang about five times, they said, oh, we'll ring you back. And they never did. No. And I can't think of anything more irritating than that. No, no. So I think it was really about the dealer. And also they said that uh, they, no one could speak to you because they were talking to a customer. Oh, that's right. That's and right. And you <laughs> said, I am a customer. <laughs> I am a customer. <laughs> so, yeah, that's number five. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on, what's number four? The privacy room. Now, this we've persevered with. We use it a lot with our original... Uh, Starfire, yeah, um, and it was okay in good weather. It was worth putting it up, but we had a lot of experience with very stormy weather yeah. and rain and water <laughs> getting into it and it making a noise all night, and the length of time that it takes to put it up. It was an absolute pain. Yeah. So, so number three is insurance claims. Yes, we have, we've had two occasions to claim on the insurance when in our most home life. And the first was when I ran over a mudguard on a motorway in Belgium. Yeah. And it did a whole load of damage to the bottom of the motorhome. I think the problem with this was I would have preferred it if the insurance company had told me, and this is the point, that this was going to affect my premium. What they told me was it wouldn't affect my no claims bonus. Mm. There's a thing called a no fault accident. Mm. And that's where you can't claim off another party. Yeah, because uh, you didn't know whose mud flap it was, basically. No. So the insurance company didn't tell me this. So mm. what had happened was, ever since, I've been paying over the odds for my insurance. And it's only now... Yeah, well, only now the car insurance has come in lower this year, because it affected the little car's insurance as well, didn't it? Yeah. So the, the next um, thing that happened with insurance companies was when we were at Moorcroft, on North Uist. Well, I've had a bit of a catastrophe. Really, the side window glass has shattered. It felt like a bomb had gone off. I don't know if it got hit by a stone or or whether it uh, just shattered on its own, but it's completely uh, dis disintegrated. Well, I'm hoping this temporary repair will hold us until we can get back to the mainland. We're not having much luck trying to find someone to come out and repair our broken side window. But um, the worst thing about it was the insurance company wouldn't let us deal with Autoglass, although we could arrange an appointment with Autoglass. They'd on actually the come out, wouldn't they? Yeah, 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 and they said they might be able to actually come to us on on the island. Anyway, um, we were talking to somebody in High Wycombe who didn't know where the Outer Hebrides were. Never heard were. of the Outer Hebrides. So that, that really didn't help. So eventually, when we got back to the mainland, we got them to agree, finally, that we could use Autoglass. And Autoglass came to the Morvik site and did an, an excellent repair. So that's our number three. And I know it's, it's a long one, but insurance companies. Yeah. They're great uh, when you, you, know, you think, oh, that's a nice cheap premium or, you know, Mm. It's, it's cheaper than the last one, but you don't know what insurance companies are like until you've actually dealt with until them. Until you have to make a claim, yeah. So what's number two? Well, this has got to be your fail, is not it? I'm sorry, I, mean, I don't want to bring this up again, but this would be putting petrol in instead of diesel. Yeah, I did, I did it not once, 
but twice. Yeah. And it's a horrible sinking feeling. Yes. Uh, when you suddenly realise you've just put 36 litres of petrol in a diesel tank. Yeah, it happened twice and it happened with the Bolero at Annick, wasn't it, the co-op yeah. there. Don't do that. No. Just imagine you've done it and it's cost you a load of money yeah. and you will always double check what yeah. diesel or petrol hose that you're, you're filling yeah, up Yeah, and I try, to, I try to look out the window because we've got a petrol car and a diesel van and, yeah. you know, things things happen but... yeah. Look on your face. Yeah. You know, oh dear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's number one? Well, afraid I think it has to be the drop-down bed in the Bailey Compact 540. Mm -hmm. Mainly because it was a disappointment. We thought that this was the answer to having to make the bed up every night in the Starfire. It was the same size in length, so mm. we thought, great, it fitted on our drive at the other house. But as soon as we had the excitement and we went picked the van up, brought it back home, you said to me, I'll show you the bed. You put the bed up, down, down yeah. yeah, um, got the ladder and everything and so this yes quite comfortable this. We got back down and you, we went up and then you said, Oh, um, I'll get it down again, it just went click. Yeah. The trouble with it was that it then focused me particularly on the drop down bed idea full stop yeah. I didn't like climbing up a ladder I didn't like climbing down the ladder in the middle of the night I didn't like the fact that Poppy wanted to come up and I spent the whole time worrying she was going to fall mm. down but I think the main thing is we bought the wrong layout and it cost us an absolute yeah. fortune to yeah. sell it after eight months Yeah. so yeah. when you're choosing a motor just think about how you're going to use it I know yeah. people say what's the you know what sort of motorhome should I buy buy the motorhome with the layout that suits you and you know you're going to get on with yeah it will cost you an absolute fortune if you don't I mean it can be a nightmare yeah yeah so I think that's our number one that's one. definitely because it cost yeah. us money as well because we changed the motorhome earlier than we would have planned to have done yeah and uh, it's just I mean some of the newer ones the bed comes all the way down doesn't it yeah so maybe they're better maybe the motors are better now maybe the straps are better yeah we were early adopters of it and yeah. it wasn't a good experience no, no. no yeah so that's our major failures um, yeah. there are others of course but uh, we won't go into that but if you enjoyed this video <laughs> <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, even if it's only out of sympathy. sympathy yeah. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget to click on the link at the uh, the card on the end of the video here, and you can watch other people's misfortunes, and hopefully you can learn from it. So thanks yeah. for watching. Um, hit the notifications icon, and you'll get updates when I release another video. Yeah, which hopefully we're full of successes. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> so well, see you soon then. Yeah. Bye, Bye then.